And then the last WWE item. Recently, I really got into these. As you guys know, I collect replica belts. Well, there is a smaller version of the replica belts called the mini belts. Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and happy 2023. This is the very first video on the Miss Fan 13 channel in 2023. I hope all of you guys had an amazing Christmas and an awesome 2022, and I hope you guys have a lot coming in 2023. I know for sure on this channel, you guys will be seeing a lot coming in the next year on this channel. Um, tomorrow, I will be doing my 2023 goals and kind of like aspirations video but for today's video the first video of 2023 i'm going to be doing my you know much anticipated yearly christmas haul so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys my wwe figures first um, then i'm going to show you the stuff the pokemon stuff i got and then lastly the disney stuff i got and guys you guys are not going to want to miss the end of this video one of my presents is a huge huge like one of the rarest things in my entire collection it is not WWE related it is disney related but you guys are not going to want to miss it because it is that epic and it is from my mom and dad so you guys are not going to want to miss it but with that being said let's get started i'm going to show you guys the gift and i'm going to tell you guys who got it for me and whatnot so with that being said let's start with the first stuff um these first three things are from my mom um they were just like little stuff she got me for my room and whatnot but if you guys don't know i love squishmallows and so I got the Rudolph Squishmallow. And then this one is actually furs. Uh, my mom got it for my for fur uh, when we went to Hallmark. But um, it's a little Clarice. So we have a little matching set. And then my mom got this for myself, for my niece, and for my nephew. And this is for me and fur because we share our stuffed animals. Um, but we got the T.Y. Beanie Baby. And I think his name is Kinsley. It is a little... Uh, it is a little you know reindeer and fur oh if i didn't tell you guys my girlfriend's behind the camera if you need to zoom in on it just zoom in and you know you know get some camera uh, angles in there but um <laughs> so yeah this is kinsley he's the cutest little thing and i'm so excited to have him and then on to the next stuff the next couple things we got here these are all from my mom and dad um it is my wwe stuff this is obviously what you guys have been waiting for so first i'm gonna start off with the wwe figures so let me get the pile of figures that I have here. The first one, it is from NXT. It is his first uh, figure in the line series, 135 Braun Breaker. So there he is right there. And then, so as you see, he's in his black tights where it says Breaker across the front, his white boots, and it has his photo. And then on the back, it says his signature moves are the Gorilla Press Power Slam and the Steiner Recliner. As you know, he is the son of Scott Steiner. And so, yeah. And then on the back, it shows who else is in the line. It's Brock Lesnar, Damian Priest, Nikki Ash, and first in the line, Reggie. So there it is on the back. And yeah. So that's the first figure I got. Uh, the second figure I got is also the first in the line. As you guys know, I love getting the first in the lines and having them sign it eventually. So the first one, this one is the first in the line, Shotzi from series 95. So there she is. And she's in her, her helmet and her black and red outfit. And yeah, there she is right there. And then on the back, it said where she's from, Oakland, California, height 5'6". So she's a little taller than me. I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, and then... The finisher is Diving Senton, and then it has also who's in the line, Big E, John Cena, Jimmy Uso, Eddie Guerrero, Bobby Lashley, and then obviously Shotzi. So there she is right there. I'm really happy to have this figure, especially if I get to meet her. She is one of my favorites, so hopefully I can get to meet her and she can sign it. And then the next one is a guy that I've been a fan of since probably like 2019 when I saw him at a show called Cactus League Wrestling. Um, it is first in the line, Karrion Cross. So there he is. I wanted to get this figure for months, but I know during Christmas time, my mom always gets me the figures. So I've been holding out on this figure since I saw it come out. Um, I don't know if it came out even 2022 or 2021. I don't remember exactly. I want to say it came out last year. I might definitely be wrong. But first in line, Carrie Cross. There he is in his black tights with the extra set of gloves. And then on the back, Carrie Cross from Sin City. Weight 265, height 6'4". So he's a little shorter than my brother, which is cool. I always like to like compare the wrestlers and see how big they are and tall they are. My brother is like 6'4 and a half or 6'5. 
and then career highlights NXT champion. And then it shows who else was in the line. Bray Wyatt, Karrion Cross, Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, Undertaker, and Aleister Black. So there he is right there. And then the last figure is my one of my girlfriend's favorite wrestlers. Um, and she's one of mine as well. Um, it is Series 84, Rhea Ripley. So there she is. She, I have not met Rhea before. I really, really want to. So I'm hoping when I ever get to meet her, I'll have her sign this. Um, this is, I think, I don't think I have Rhea's first figure. Am I, am I not? I have to remember. But um, yeah, so there she is. She has her shirt. This is before she was in her group with uh, Balor and Priest and Rey Mysterio, with Dominic Mysterio. So there's the side and then the back. And then it says from... Adelaide, South Australia, finisher, the Riptide, high 5-7. And she's been the NXT Women's Champion and the NXT UK Women's Champion. And in the line, there was Jeff Hardy, um, Angel Garza, Sheamus, Murphy, Rhea Ripley, and Roman Reigns. And then the sides and whatnot. So these were all from my mom, like I, from my mom and dad. Um, and then this next set of stuff, everything is from my mom except for one item, which is from my girlfriend which I'll tell you guys what is what. So, we'll leave this one for last. Um, one of the first things my mom got me is the new Hustle, Loyalty, Respect, uh, Never Give Up John Cena hat. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge John Cena fan, like literally Cena, Becky. Um, so we got Hustle, Loyalty, Respect. And I really started wearing these kind of hats because I've lost a lot of weight. And so now I feel like I actually look good in these hats. So this is my like third of these kind of hats. I usually get like the snack ba snap back hats, but now we got this one. So in the front, it says hustle, Lord to respect. Now the back, never give up. And then <clears throat> one of the next things we got, I've been wanting this shirt since it came out. Um, it is the, to go along with the hat, the time, uh, 20 years, John Cena, never give up his brand new t-shirt. Um, so yeah, here's the front of it. It kind of has like the old school, like in my head, like Nintendo 64, Nintendo kind of style, like old school games. And then on the back, it says, then, now, forever, together, hustle, loyalty, respect. And it has all the stages of John Cena. Um, and it has the, the prototype, the chain gang, John Cena, uh, you know, normal hustle, loyalty, respect, Cena. And then I'm going to guess, like, Hollywood Cena. So, yeah, there's the back of it. All right, guys, and the next thing I got, it should not come to a surprise to anybody. Uh, it is the new shirt of Becky Lynch. It is the uh, box office Bex shirt. So as you there on the front, it has the, you know, the photo of Becky with the glasses and her hair and all whatnot. And then on the back at the top here, it says box office Bex. So when I first saw this shirt, I was a little like iffy about it because you know, Becky's going a little more crazy with her style. But you know, after I started looking at it, I was like, you know what? I think it's a really cool t-shirt. And if you guys love Becky, you guys should also get it. And so I'm really happy to have it. And then the next item I got, it is from my girlfriend who is recording this video, if I didn't already mention that. Um, Hi. <laughs> you guys see different camera angles, that's why. Uh, so um, I've been wanting this for how long? Um, since it came out. Since it came out, yeah. <laughs> um, it is the John Cena and The Rock two pack of the Funkos. If you guys do not know, I was actually at this WrestleMania. Um, I went, my parents took myself and my oldest nephew, Tyler, and to Miami to go see this WrestleMania. Um, so it is the uh, first time that John Cena and The Rock faced off. Um, so when I saw that they actually had this pop and it was in the ring, I just thought it was the coolest, coolest thing ever. And then every time we go to Target, I would tell her for uh, Bubs, you know, for Christmas, Christmas, my birthday. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, if you guys want it, they have it at Target, they have it at GameStop, if they still have it available. Um, I think what you got it at GameStop, I think they were having like the sales or something. Yeah, shout out to Casey. <laughs> Casey is our uh, local uh, GameStop guy. Um, so yeah, John Cena and The Rock. And then there's a picture of them in the back. And on the side it says John Cena and then The Rock. And yeah, so I just thought this figure is really cool. I mean, as you guys know, they're starting to do a lot of bigger WWE uh, ones, like how they had Eddie Guerrero and The Low Rider. Now they're having John Cena and The Rock. And I'm sure there's more that I'm just not aware of yet. But yeah, and then the last WWE item. Recently, I really got into these. As you guys know, I collect replica belts. Well, there is a smaller version of the replica belts called the mini belts. 
and I have gotten really into them ever since Fur and I have gone to the WWE uh, like uh, backstage VIP um, uh, the what is it called the backstage experience I forgot what it's called they changed the name but um, yeah so the first one I got was the regular WWE championship and if you guys can tell this one it says hustle loyalty respect and this is part of the 20th anniversary of John Cena and so when I saw this online, my mom has me make a Christmas list. She has myself and Fur make like a Christmas list. And this was like literally at the top of my list. Um, and I almost thought she didn't get it because it was the last present she gave me. And I was just like, oh my God, yes, I was so happy. So it says on the front, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It says, you can't see me. And it says WWE Spinner, it's engraved John Cena. And it says the champ is here. So there it is on the back. And it does spin like the like the normal replicas. Obviously, it doesn't spin as big as the replicas, but it does spin. I know the regular replica, if you spin it, it's not going to stop spinning for like 10 minutes. This one, it has a magnet, so it always like stops. Um, but it's a really good belt. And one thing I did not know about this when I ordered it, I didn't find out about it. Well, not when I ordered it, when I asked for my mom for it. Um, when I was looking at WWE Shop, that these are numbered. I had no idea. I literally found out on that couch over there when we were sitting there and I was like, wait, it's numbered? And I had no idea. So mine is the it says official authentic signature championship collection number 355 of 500. So there are only 500 of these made um, on the back right here on this little patch. It actually says 355 of 500. Um, so when I found out it was actually numbered, that just made it even more better. I wanted this belt no matter what, but you know, that was a really good surprise. And I got a pretty good number considering these came out a while back. Like they came out probably like when his the 20th anniversary stuff first came out. So um, the fact that I got number 355, I'm very happy with that number. So yeah, this is the last WWE thing I got. And I want to say, you know, thank you for, for my, and for got me some other stuff that's going to be, going to be seeing over here. But as far as wrestling stuff, that's what I got from my mom and from fur. So the next thing I got, this is from my brother, his wife, Sarisa, and my niece and nephew. Uh, so they got me the Dark Cry V-Star Premium Collection box. I haven't opened it yet because I've been waiting to do this video. So I'm probably going to end up opening it very soon now. But it comes with two um, like art cards, one giant art card, and then one, two, three, eight packs of cards from different collections. Um, you guys don't know I love Pokemon. Like Fur can attest to how much money <laughs> I spend on Pokemon. Um, so here's the back and it tells you everything it comes with and whatnot. So this is a good pack to come and get. And then the next part, uh, both of these are from Fern. So the first one she got me is the new Pokemon Snap uh, uh, game for the Switch. I've been wanting this game since it came out and I'm so glad I finally have it. It's such a fun game. I was playing it the other day, so much fun. So I for the Switch, this is the digital version. Um, so yeah, it's a really good game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I was literally just, you basically just take pictures of Pokemon in the wild. And I know people are thinking, oh, that's boring. You take photos like of a video game. I love photography, so yes, it is actually a lot of fun. And it's kind of, it's different than your normal Pokemon games where you always have to like battle and stuff like that. It's very different. So that's why it's so much fun. And then the last thing Fur got me, or well not the last thing, she got, the last thing she got me a Pokemon uh, was the Elite Trainer Box Astrial Radiance. She did give me another ETB and a Pokemon binder, but it wasn't technically like my Christmas presents, but it was like three days before Christmas. But this is stuff I actually opened on Christmas. Uh, so Astral Radiance, um, it comes with eight packs of cards um, and just a bunch of other stuff to actually play the game. And yeah, so I've been wanting one of these. I love getting these ETB boxes. I have a whole bunch of them. I try to get them for every single collection that comes out. And so I was missing one of these. All right, so then the next stuff coming up, uh, most of it, I think all of it is from Fern. Um, so all of this next up is Pokemon, I mean Disney. So this first one is actually from my best friend Damien. Um, he got us, he got me like a little card obviously. And then on the inside, um, it is a gift card to the Disney store. So I am gonna use it when I go to Disneyland. Fern and I are going to Disneyland in February. And then he also added a Amazon gift card each $25 so I let her have the Amazon gift card and then I'm gonna take the Disney gift card and yeah so thank you Damien and then like I said the rest of the stuff is from Fern so first Fern and I every year we get each other like a hygienic product so I wanted to try this every man jack black panther wakanda herbs and body kit 
So it comes with a shampoo and conditioner, a body gel, and a deodorant. And they had different characters. They had Spider-Man, Black Panther, I think they had Thor. And I wanted to get the Spider-Man or Black Panther. So this Black Panther one though, I think we smelled it, didn't we? Did we open it a little bit? It smells mm. so good. Like it smells, smells so, so good. So I can't wait to actually try it and see how it smells and like how it is. But from what we could smell from here, it smells so, so, so good. So we got that. And then the next thing we got is this new game that I started playing when I go to this place called Game Vault here in El Paso. We got to, they have like a place where you can try games out and stuff. And we tried this one out and it's called Disney Villainous. The worst takes it all. And so basically what you're doing is, you know, in Disney games, you're usually playing the heroes. Well, in this game, you're playing the villain and you have to like try to cook, like every villain has their own, um, their own task. And so basically you try to do your task before everybody else and you just try to sabotage the player. So example, I'm usually Maleficent and Fur is usually the Queen of Hearts. And one of my tasks is to do all the curses and Fur's job is to either do her task or to sabotage me. So it's a really fun game. And they have a bunch of other sets that go with it, but this is the this is like the base one I think, and it has like a bunch of the main character main villains. So I was so happy to actually have this, so now I can actually play it at home. Um, and then I'm eventually going to try to get the other um, the boxes because they have they have Disney villains, they have Star Wars, and they have Marvel. So and then they have more Disney villains as well. So this is just the first one. And then the next thing we got, guys don't know I love Legos. <clears throat> Recently for my birthday this past year, Fur got me the Disney Castle Lego set, which I, that's been my dream Lego since I saw it during my Make-A-Wish in 2015. So now, now I have the castle, um, I saw the, if you guys don't know, I love Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear is like my favorite character. And when his new movie came out, I, they started releasing sets of the characters. So we got this one, we got, it is the Disney Buzz Lightyear, and it comes with like the little robot that tries to attack them, and it has Buzz and Hawthorne. And yeah, so this is like a easier building one, but I wanted to have the whole set because Fur had already bought me the Zerg that is in the set, I think like just during the summertime. And then the one I really, really wanted, the Disney Pixar, um, the XL-15 spaceship. If you guys have seen the new Lightyear movie, you guys know this is the ship that he flies and he's trying to complete his quest in. And so I'm really glad to have this one. And so it comes with Buzz, it comes with Socks, the cat. I love socks. So that comes with some villains, I guess, um, and whatnot. So I'm really happy to have this set. Okay, and one of the last things that I got from Fern, uh, recently I really got into mini brands. So if you guys don't know what those are, they have mini brands of honestly, a lot of different stuff. This one is the Disney mini brands. And I have a whole bunch of them. I literally got the advent calendar this year. I got in some balls, like with the little, the little buying balls. And so I needed a place to put all of that. And so for Christmas, Fern got me the Disney Store Mini Brand um, Edition, or the Mini Brands Disney Store Edition. And so basically it's a little replica version of a Disney store, and I can use the shelves to put all the little mini brands I got. And I'm sure you guys will see that in a future uh, room tour video uh, when I have it all set up. But yeah, so I got this. I've been wanting this for so long. Every time we go to Target, I'm like, hey, Fern, look at the mini brands. <laughs> And um, yeah, so this is the last thing for got me be like as a present. We did do stocking stuffers for each other, which I'll show you. Um, but before I get to the stocking stuffers, I want to show you definitely my biggest Christmas gift this year. And when I found out I got this, I was shocked. So this year, Fur and I went to this convention called D23. It is Disney's huge fan club. Like imagine WrestleCon or WrestleMania Access for Disney fans. Um, and as you guys know, as you saw from my Pokemon cards and I have WWE cards, I love trading cards. And we found out Disney was going to be record re releasing these things called Disney Lorcana cards. And I was able to, at D23, get the two free versions that they were passing out, um, which is this little Mickey Mouse little tailor, and they were handing out these pins. And right here, if you can see them. Um, but they did release a six pack of cards during D23 weekend. Sadly, I was trampled for these cards and I was not able to get them. So I came home, my leg was all bruised up. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Like I was crying at D23 because I got trampled that hard. And my mom decided to surprise me for Christmas. So first um, they released a media pin for Disney Lorcana. Uh, so she got me that, I didn't even know this existed. It was only for like probably like 
you know, Disney YouTubers and Disney and like other people covering the convention. But this is the set that I wanted so badly and got trampled for. Um, they retailed for $50. Um, now they're going for like $10,000. No, my mom did not pay $10,000. She did pay a pretty price with it. That's why she was like, don't ask anything for Christmas. Barely ask for anything. Like, you know, cause this is, these were cards are very, very rare. So on the front, it was signed. She bought these on eBay from someone, um, before the prices skyrocketed to, to 10,000. Um, so they were signed by two of the developers of the cards. And on the front, it says Disney Lorcana. And when you take them out, I remember when she told me she bought these, I just sat there in complete and utter shock. Like I literally have these, no one is allowed to touch these cards. Like except for my mom and for Fern. Um, and here they are. So if you guys love Disney and you guys know about these cards, you guys know how hard these cards are to get. The set will be coming out in 2023, except the set that comes out, there will not be the hollow or the foil on it. So these are a one of a kind set. Um, as you see, it comes with Elsa, Captain Hook, Stitch, uh, Robin Hood, Maleficent's Dragon, and Cruella. And stamped on each of them, you're not going to be able to see it on camera because it's small. You can't really see it in person, but at the bottom, it is stamped D23 Expo. And they only release about 300 of these every day. There's three days of the convention, so there's about 900 to 1,000. I don't know exactly how many because it's not numbered on here, but I know they were very, very, very limited. So this was like my huge Christmas gift for this year. Um, and I'm just completely in shock to have it. So I basically have the entire D23 uh, card set, which like I said, comes with this the two pins I showed you, and the Mickey Mouse, which I was able to get at the convention. Um, so yeah, I'm just so, so happy to have this set. Like I remember when she told me, she just came to my room and she's like, oh here, can you uh, do something on my phone for me real quick? And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And then she's like, can you put the card to pay for this item I bought? Not knowing what she bought. I wasn't, I was just like half asleep. I was like, yeah, I got it in mine. And she's like, oh, did you see what I bought? And I was like, no, what did you buy? Me thinking probably a Funko Pop or like a pin for herself. I scroll down and I see the cards and I'm just there like, because I never thought I would own these cards because that's how much they were scalping the prices up. So I'm just so, so happy to have these. And I cannot wait for the regular set to come out so I can collect the entire set, have a master set. And yeah, so if you guys want these, you guys have to pay a, pity, pay a pretty penny, but they are definitely, definitely so, so nice, especially if you love trading cards. And on top of that, my mom also helped pay for Vern and I's trip to Disneyland in D23 this past year. Um, she helped pay for our hotel. We got to stay at the very nice Disneyland Resort uh, hotel. She got our airline tickets and then she's helping us with our trip coming up to Disneyland. She got our airline tickets and our tickets to actually to Disneyland. So my mom definitely hooked it up this year for Fern and I. Um, so thank you so much, Maya. I know you're over there, you can probably hear me. But again, I just wanna say thank you so, so, so much. And then the last stuff I'm gonna show you guys, it's just some stocking stuffers Fern got me. Like I said, we fill each other's stockings and whatnot. Um, just, you know, just to do something cute. And then we get my mom's stuff too. So Fur got me a little Pikachu with a little hat. I think it's the cutest little thing. And then Fur also got me some ring pops. And it's funny, we both got each other this without even knowing. And then uh, she got me a Grinch uh, Hershey's Kisses like little tube. And then what else, what else? Uh, oh, my mom got us some of these socks to help take care of her feet, to make sure our feet stay moisturized. Um, and then what else, what else? Fur also got me some Pokemon cards, three packs of the Silver Temptus. Um, she got me, uh, her work gave me this Hershey's little tube. And then what else? We got each, oh, she got me, one of my favorite candies is Ferrero Rocher. I love these things. So she got me these two Ferrero Rochers. Bubs, I'm trying to lose weight. And you're <laughs> candy. <laughs> and then, um, it's fine, in moderation. And then she got me these two uh, uh, push pops. I love push pops. Um, and then my mom got me these two little, they're uh, lip balms. So you know, gotta make sure these lips are not chapped. And then the last two things for got me is mini brands uh, balls so I can fill up my little uh, Disney store. So yeah, guys, 
that is everything I got for Christmas this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it's it was a long haul, but you guys are used to that with my my Christmas hauls and whatnot. Um, I will be uploading today, as you see, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. And then starting the weeks after, it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hopefully, if not, I will definitely be uploading three times a week. And I will explain to you guys tomorrow why I'm so set on three times a week. Um, but with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas, spent a lot of t uh, time with your family and with loved ones. And I hope you guys have an awesome 2023. With that being said, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is